Hi everyone, in this video I want to review the new Hemo Z20 e-bike and compare it to the previous version Hemo C20 to see what's different. Let's start with the hard facts. Both are equipped with a 250 watt motor that sits on the rear wheel of the bike and both have a 10 ampere hour battery. They provide a maximum speed of 25 km per hour for a range of about 80 km in pedal assist mode. Both have 20 inch wheels, hence the name of the bikes, and both offer a 6 speed Shimano gear shift. The weight of both of them is very similar, 21.5 kg and they allow a payload of 100 kg. Most noticeable difference is of course the folding mechanism. On Hemo C20 you can retract the seat pole and flip down the handlebar. Well that's basically it. Still, the e-bike doesn't take much space when placed next to a wall. To make it even slimmer, you can flip the pedals and turn the handlebar. This Wehimo C20 is of course very flat, but if the length is an issue, you should definitely look at Hemo Z20. With Hemo Z20, the frame folds in half. Similar to C20, you can also retract the seat pole, flip the handlebar, swing in the pedals and turn the handlebar. So Z20 is even more compact to store and that's what I was looking for as it has to fit in my closet and in my car trunk. What does that mean in numbers? Both are 147 cm long and 109 cm tall. Since you can fold the frame of Hemo Z20, it folds down to 86 cm in length. Both are 74 cm tall when folded. Both are 29 cm wide when you don't fold the frame of Hemo Z20. When you do so, the bike is 45 cm wide. Regarding height adjustment, I'm 183 tall, but you can extend the seat pull way further than I use it. I find it very comfortable to ride, even though the handlebar cannot be adjusted in height. Let's take a look at the handlebar. There's the left brake handle for the rear wheel, the right one for the front, a display, a bell and the gear shift. The throttle on the right side has to be twisted. When comparing Hemo Z20 and C20, you will notice a different display. Within the display of Hemo C20, there are two buttons. With the upper power button, you turn on the bike. I don't really like this display as it is very glossy and hard to read in direct sunlight. When short pressing the power button, you can turn the front LED light on and off, which is very bright and I'm okay with it riding at night. With the lower button, you switch the different modes of the bike. Eco, medium and high. More on that later. When long pressing the mode button, you switch to parking mode. Some users complained that water entered the gap next to the buttons and they couldn't turn off the bike. Well, that was fixed on Hemo Z20, as the new display is IPX7 waterproof. There are four buttons, the power button on the bottom to turn on the bike, next to it a button to change from trip to total mileage. With the plus and minus button, you switch the different modes, the same three also offered on C20. I prefer the new display used on Hemo Z20, as it is way better to read, also in direct sunlight. When long pressing the plus button, you turn on the light, which is also displayed with an icon on the screen. When long pressing the minus button, you enter parking mode. Here are again both displays to compare. Mounted on the seat pole, there is the rear LED light and a reflector. The rear LED is not connected to the bike's battery and is using AA batteries. There is a reason why the seat pole is not connected to the bike as you can remove it. Both bikes have a nice gimmick as the seat pole holds an air pump. You can pull it out and inflate the tires on the go which is very convenient. To inflate the tires there is another Xiaomi product I can recommend. The battery powered Xiaomi air pump. When connected it shows the current tire pressure. You can set the desired pressure and hit the button and the air pump does the rest. You can find more infos in the video description below. 
Both Hemo C20 and Hemo Z20 are equipped with reflectors on the front wheel and on the back wheel. There are reflectors on the pedals and the bell is mounted on the handlebar. Good for me to be road legal, but please check the legal requirements in your country. Hemo C20 comes fully assembled out of the box. I just recommend checking air pressure and brakes and you are good to go. With Hemo Z20 you just need to mount the pedals, the wrench is included. Both e-bikes come with plastic mudguards and aluminium fenders, so you can choose which one you prefer to mount. Both Hemo Z20 and Hemo C20 offer a 6-speed Shimano transmission. There are 6 sprockets on the back and one gear on the front, which is covered so your trousers don't get ripped or get dirty on the way to your office. The transmission was very well adjusted right out of the box, nothing for me to fine tune here, as it works perfectly smooth. Both e-bikes are equipped with mechanical disc brakes on front and back wheel. They look very solid and robust. I recommend adjusting them before you ride for the first time. You can fine tune them on the handlebar and that was fine for me. Of course the brakes can be adjusted like on any other regular bike. Both Hemo Z20 and Hemo C20 offer a 10 ampere hour capacity lithium ion battery which is removable, but due to their frame construction they are placed a bit differently. On Hemo C20 the battery sits on top of the frame. It has an LED battery status indicator and a key that locks the battery. This way you can conveniently take it with you for charging and don't need to bring the whole bike with you. The battery of Hemo Z20 is stored within the frame of the bike. When you unfold the bike there's also a key that locks the battery. You can take it out to charge it on the go. As I got this question a lot, yes you can charge both Hemo Z20 and Hemo C20 while the battery is still mounted so you do not necessarily need to remove it for charging. Both of course come with a charger, which is quite large and heavy. If you are worrying about the right power plug that comes with your bike, the charger is using a standard 3 pin power cord, so you can easily and inexpensively change it in case you got the wrong one. I think the battery design of Hemo Z20 is another advantage. You can remove the battery and drive fully manual. But when you remove the battery on Hemo C20, there's still the gap for the battery that can collect dirt and water, and the ports are not covered. That's not the case for Hemo Z20. You don't notice that the battery is gone, unless for the fact that the bike is now 2.5 kilos lighter. Let's take a closer look at the different modes, since there seems to be some confusion about them. They are the same on both of them. You can ride the bike fully manually just using pedals without any electric support as you don't have to turn the bike on. It is exhausting as the bikes are very heavy because of the battery and the motor so I wouldn't recommend these bikes if you frequently plan to go without electric power. When removing the battery the bike is of course a bit lighter. You can also go fully manual when the bike is in parking mode. But this way the bike is powered on and you can use the LED light on the front. Unfortunately speed and distance infos are not shown on the display. Echo mode is the pedal assist mode. What does it mean? You do not need to pull the throttle. You start pedaling and the electric motor supports your ride, but only up to about 18 km per hour. The speed is not limited, so you can go faster by pedaling. There is just no further electric support. And then there are two fully electric modes, medium and high. In medium you can pull the throttle and the bike accelerates up to about 17 km an hour. The speed is not limited, you can always go faster by pedaling. high mode the bike accelerates up to, well, I got 24 km per hour. Again, the speed is not limited by the bike, you can always go faster by pedaling. 
also the bike is not slowing you down when going downhill for example. I usually go in high mode and hit the pedals as well. Also important to know, the bike does not start from standing still. You have to give it an initial push until the throttle is active. To sum it up, the advantages of Hemo Z20 are the folding mechanism, that you can go without battery and the battery bay is covered, the new and better display, and what I haven't mentioned so far, pedal assist mode works way better on Hemo Z20 than on Hemo C20. It is very convenient to ride, you accelerate without any effort, I'm fine with the 18 km per hour limit as you already reach the speed when further acceleration is not exhausting. Very pleasant to maintain speed. In general, both bikes are very enjoyable to ride and the seat is comfortable. Not only on the road, also when going off-road the bike feels very sturdy. Compared to smaller wheel folding bikes, I don't think suspension is something I'm missing on this one. The 20 inch wheels make the ride very enjoyable. I like the Hemo design a lot as they look like BMX bikes and not like the typical old fashioned folding bikes. In terms of the finishing I prefer the grey color. It looks a bit better and not that glossy as the white one. Only advantage of Hemo C20 is that the price is a bit lower. By the way, I ordered both of them at Gearbest and they shipped from the European warehouse. Shipping was for free and the bikes arrived within a week within Europe and there was no further tax or customs to be paid. In the video description you can find the links and coupon codes. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, I'm not getting paid for this. It is just my review and my opinion on those Hemo e-bikes. What competitors are there? Fido is offering two 20 inch folding e-bikes, the Fido D4S, which has a non-removable battery and is cheaper, and the new Fido D11. I'm gonna compare it to Hemo Z20 in my next video, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to compare the specs in detail, visit my blog where I have some comparison charts. The link is in the video description below. I hope you liked this video. If you have feedback what I can do better in my Hemo Z20 vs Fido D11 review or what you wanna see exactly, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.